guys, this is Brian, and uh, we're heading off to Taylorsville Lake. So last time I went there, uh, I ended up hooking into some really nice crappie. I mean, some big ones too. So, and then of course we ran the trot line out there and uh, caught some real nice catfish too. So anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna head up here with my canoe and see what it does, and hopefully it'll be more stable now. So. Uh, We'll see what we can do as far as setting the trout line. Then tomorrow I'll go back and run it, and hopefully, you know, I'll catch a few catfish. If I catch about three of them, I'm happy. Uh, the last one we set three trout lines, and we ended up catching somewhere around 10 or 12, I think it was. So a few of them we threw back, but uh, if I catch a few of them, I'm happy. You know, that's uh, that's some pretty good catfish out here, so uh, they'll fillet up real nice and. All right, here we are at the boat ramp and uh, down a little hill and then we'll back up and put the canoe in. Yeah, I'll catch y'all once we start leaving here. Okay guys, I'm back in the cove that uh, I'm going to run my trot line. I usually run it right along through there and uh, we'll catch some good ones here. So lots of bait fish back up in here. Uh, it's been a pretty good row. The dock that we came from, it's way back there. It took me probably a half hour to get back here, I guess, just rowing. And uh, anyway, it's made me really consider getting a trolling motor. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go ahead and paddle up this way a little bit and uh, and get the trout line going here. It's just beautiful back here. Beautiful. Fish are jumping. And Sun's out, it's nice and cool, it feels like it's in the low 70s. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. There we go. Okay, so like I said, the floats are doing real well. You know, they are just so stable, it's amazing something that small how well it could do. I just uh, took me a one by and then took some treated decking and cut it out to shape and screwed a screw with a washer up underneath to it and then aired them up as much as they could possibly take and I mean they are just really super stable so uh, I like that. <laughs> Alright so I'm gonna run my trot line I'm gonna look at the channel but I'll probably run it straight down through here Right about to where those two are there, I would guess. I'm going to have to look at the creek channel and uh, make a determination, but I'm pretty sure this is where we caught all the nice uh, catfish last time, so I'm going to give her a try. Well, i got some otter friends here that are uh, coming to say hi to me. <laughs> I can truly say I've never seen otters in the wild, but these seem pretty friendly. Isn't that neat? There's three of them. I sure hope they don't get near my trout line. Wow. Look at them just looking at me. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Okay guys, I don't know if y'all can see this, but uh, hopefully so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this trot line and uh, go ahead and bait it up. So, I've got my hooks on a kind of a thing here wrapped around. And uh, it looks like I grabbed my son's hooks. So, anyway, I'll go ahead and use what i got here since I've already got them. But I brought my hot dogs, and I'm just going to go ahead and run these right over the top of this. Take off one at a time. Set that right there, and then when I get to the middle, I'm going to uh, hook this uh, rock onto it, and uh, we'll be set to go. So I just thread that through, like so, 
have a little bit of the point sticking out. And I tell you what, they just can't resist these hot dogs, so I'm happy. They're a dollar. <laughs> you know, I like it when animals have cheap taste. I bought shrimp earlier, and they didn't want that at all, so they're gone. Hot dogs are better for the pocketbook. Okay, I'm just going to run this on up and over my float, like so. And then I'll just pull myself right along and hook it up. So let's see what we can do. Now I hope you're getting this in the, in the camera here. Just clip it right on when I come to it. Yeah, it's slick after touching them hot dogs. There we go. There's the first one. There's two. And then hopefully when I come back, you know, if I catch two catfish even, I'm happy. I mean, that's four fillets and it's just my wife and my daughter and I, so, you know, they're pretty good sized fillets too most of the time. So that'll feed us there, even two catfish will feed us plenty. I'm supposed to go again with Chris and uh, Rod, so I look forward to that. Can't wait to go out here and camp out again. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, my friends, uh, coming back toward the dock here, got the trot line set and uh, ran out of hooks about halfway through, but I remembered where there was an old one uh, that was discarded. I went and took the hooks off it, rebaited, put about 10 more on, and uh, so the trot line's set now, and uh, we're heading back, uh, heading back up to the dock now, and uh, just want you to kind of enjoy the ride with me here, if you would. I'm getting ready to run the trot lines with Rod. I put them down in my canoe the other day and we're going to see if we caught anything. I had a heck of a time uh, coming back here in my canoe because of the wind so bad so Rod opted to, uh, to take me in his boat here so that's good. Oh man, that's a big one. 
a whopper there. There's your net. <laughs> Look at the size of this one. Oh, come on, baby. Get him in the net. There we go. <laughs> Look at the size of this guy. Yeah, that's one of the bigger little ones. There you go. That ain't bad. I think I got another one just the same size. That'll make it worth a trip. Looks about the size of that first one. Yeah, not quite. Still a good eating fish, though. They would say back home, he'll eat. I think they'll be bringing a boat like that back in here with all these stumps. Oh, you got him? Yeah, I'll tell you what, we're going to probably have to uh, do something with him to get him off the floor. There's a cooler right behind you, just throw him in there. Yeah, that's a pretty decent fish right there. Their mouths are so tough. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to cut the hook. Mm -hmm.